Hey guys, what's up? I just watched the Danny Garcia vs. Rod Salka fight. And, uh, yeah, Danny Garcia wins the fight by knockout in the second round. He improves his record to 29 wins, 17 KOs, still undefeated. But, uh, he didn't really, um, he didn't really prove much in this fight, obviously. The opponent he had in front of him, Lightning Rod Salka, 70-something rank in lightweight, was coming up from 135. And, uh, yeah, he was ranked 70-something 70, 70 in lightweight. So, really, Danny had to do this to keep his reputation in, in, uh, in line, really. When you think about it, because he had to dominate the fight. If he didn't dominate the fight, and even if he, he won the fight but didn't had some, didn't look good doing it, then there was going to be a problem. But he got the job done. He got it done dominantly. He knocked him out in the second round. And, uh, yeah, it was he did what he was supposed to do, so you can't really knock on knock on him on that. But... Really, the opponent in front of him, Salka never should have been in the ring with Garcia, really, but good for them giving Rod Salka opportunity, but that wasn't, they didn't, they didn't put Salka in front of Danny to give Salka a chance. They put him in front of Danny because Danny didn't have a good performance against Herrera, and we all know that's Al Heyman's doing, and, uh... So really, I'm not impressed by Danny, obviously, considering the opponent that was in that was in front of him. Um, not impressed, but you can't take away anything away from Danny in this fight because he did get the job done in two rounds and he did it in uh, knockout fashion. So you can't really you can't really take credit away from Danny for this fight besides the opponent uh, that was in front of him, but. He got the job done. He did what he was supposed to do against this kind of opponent. It was a mismatch. And uh, hopefully Danny uh, fights uh, someone who's on his level or above him next. Hopefully he, if he stays at 140, fights um, someone like uh, Broner or um, Matisse rematch, Herrera rematch, someone like that. Um... But we'll see uh, Broner's next fight. And I know Al Heyman won't put Broner against Garcia probably. Protects them way too much. Broner's facing this Taylor guy. I don't, I don't I have nothing to say about that really right now. But anyway, it's Al Heyman protects the fighters too much. Um, really when you look at people say yes, Showtime cards are better. But when you look at it, all they're doing is putting they're putting big names in the in the card, but they're putting the big names against guys we don't know or guys that have no chance or shouldn't have no chance anyway. Like they'll put like with the Broner card, they'll put Broner against Taylor, and then they'll put Lucas Matisse against I think Ortiz. I don't know what Ortiz he's facing, but haven't really looked into that. But pretty much, they're putting the big name, big names in there. But um, they're not putting a big name against another big name. They're putting a big na name against a nobody or a mismatch. So that's what I mean. So really, what cards are better? I think HBO's cards are better. I think everything HBO does is better than Showtime, in my opinion. The announcers the commentary, um, the, just everything about it, is, I like better. Uh, so, anyway, back to the fight. Um, Danny Garcia gets the win, knocks Salka out two rounds. Didn't really say much. Can't really give that much credit to Garcia. Pretty much just keeps his reputation. But, uh, I want to see Danny Garcia fight Herrera next in a rematch or Matisse rematch 
or if he goes up to 147, put him against. I like to see him put him against like a, like a Sean Porter, um, or a Keith Thurman, Manny Pacquiao, Mayweather. Someone like that would be good if he moves up to 147, or he might fight Lamont Peterson, who just won his fight too. But uh, the top top uh, fight I would like to see Danny uh, in is. Garcia, Danny Garcia versus Lucas Matisse too. That's what I want to see for Danny. That's what I want to see for Matisse, and I think Matisse would re would win the rematch. So, anyway, not impressed. Um, nothing to be impressed about considering the the opponent he had uh, against him. But anyway, it was uh, it, it was. Obviously, it was it was good to watch. Obviously, it's it's good to fight. It's good to watch a competitive fight, back and forth. This wasn't, but it's also it's good to fight a one-sided fight too. Sometimes this was one-sided, but anyway, um, yeah, it, was, it was a good fight. Ended in knockout. Can't complain there. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this fight in the comment section below. What did you think about Danny Garcia's performance? Let me know. Um, who do you want him to fight next? I want him to fight Lucas Matisse next. I think the Matisse, the machine, will beat Danny in the rematch. Um, Danny's good, but I think Matisse would get him in the rematch. We'll see what Matisse does in his fight against Ortiz. Um, I just heard about that fight now, actually. I, I don't know what Ortiz he's facing, but, uh, yeah, I'll do videos on that. Um... But anyway, uh, yeah, that's the fight I'd want to see, Matisse versus Garcia too. Um, anyway, let me know what you guys thought about uh, Danny's performance. Who do you want to fight next? And uh, yeah, let me know. Subscribe if you like my videos. Like them. Thanks.